Hey guys, my name's iMac117, and today I will be doing a review on the Fortnite crossover event between Supergirl, Flash, Arrow, and Legends of Tomorrow. So, overall, I think it was good. I liked it. I mean, it, it was like, it, it had a good reason why they all crossed over as well. Like, it did... Like, it wasn't just like, oh, there's some evil villain, we have to call the legend, you know, it, and it could have just been easily Flash, and, uh, um, just sure. uh, and, uh, the Arrow. So, but the first time they crossed over was, I think it was Season 3 of The Flash, and, no, Season 1 of The Flash and Season 3 of Arrow, they first crossed over, and, uh, that one was good. It was kind of, they kind of just helped out each other in that one. Then the next one was about uh, Vandal Savage, which was really just, that one was about the birth of the legends, kind of, uh, pretty much. With Hawkman, Hawkgirl, and so on, and yeah, so on and so forth. Um, this one here, okay, by the way guys, if you don't like, I didn't used to watch Supergirl. I only started this year because we, I, only, I, watched, I watched the first episode of season one and the Flash episode with... Supergirl, um, but in season, I'm sorry, I've been watching season two, and I only, I only wanted to watch it because I like Superman, Superman was in it, and I heard Martian Manhunter was in it, I was just like, okay, I have to watch this, because he's one of my favourites, and I like him, he's really cool in this story, um, anyway, so yeah, that's that, but here's the thing, you don't need to watch Supergirl for this crossover, I'm afraid, it's, this episode was, is the Supergirl episode is the mid-season final for Supergirl. And it was not, it didn't really have anything to do with the main plot of this crossover. Yeah, sure, and then you see some portals and stuff, and it's just like, oh my god, that was you. And, but, you know, it didn't really have much to do with the story. So, and plus they show the clip, at what happens at the end, they show that in the next episode anyway. So, yeah, but, okay, so... That's that. So you don't really, there's not much to talk about in Supergirl. But, uh, yeah, anyway. But I could talk. But, you know what, I'll give my opinion about Supergirl because it's been season final. I was going to do one for next week with Flash and Arrow, but Super, and I think Legends is ending tomorrow for, I mean, next week for mid-season. But, uh, Supergirl, so far I'm liking it. Uh, I like Lee, uh, uh, the sister of Lex Luthor, I forgot her name, Lena Luthor or something like that. I like Superman, he was cool. I like Master Manhunter, I like Supergirl. Uh, I hate that other Kryptonian dude, he's a dick. He can go die, he, I just don't like him. Uh, and I like the, that... Uh, sorry, I got, I got a cold, by the way. Um, What's the name? Guardian, I liked him. Is it Guardian? I think so. Yeah, I thought he's a vigilante dude, was cool. Anyway, but back to the crossover. Uh, okay, Flash. Okay, so... Uh, so, in this episode, this is where they all get everyone together and they find all these aliens. So we're just like, okay, we better get everyone together. And I, they, they, I notice this every time. When Flash has to go over to Arrow, he saves him every time. Jeez, thought was someone knocked on. Not that door, the door right there. Um, Flash has to save Arrow every time. Like, when he goes over there... Like, either someone's throwing boomerangs at Arrow, the other time is Damien Dark is sucking the shit out of, shut up phone, sucking the crap out of uh, Arrow with his powers, or freaking, he's got bullets heading straight towards him. How come every time this happens, Flash is completely there? What happens if Arrow and Thing weren't there? Would they have died? You know, that's what I'm just wondering. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, and they could have easily, and once again, all three situations, Flash could have just easily done bang, 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 and, you know, oh, there's the bad guys, end of, end of the season, let's go. But no, they have to be all like, we have to be all like, oh, we let them get away, oh, shoot, I'm sorry. Um, <coughs> yeah, anyway, that's what, one thing that kind of annoyed me. Um, fuck, I'm turning that light off. It is really hot. It's ridiculously hot. Um... Anyway, so I like how they all come together in the first episode, in the, well, I'm saying second episode, I guess, but the Flash episode, pretty much they get them all together, get all the teams to come, uh, Legends, uh, Flash, Arrow, and they get Supergirl to come over as well, and uh, pretty much they're talking about, oh, there's an aliens, and we need to train for it, and they do, and 
Uh, then they go, then, this is, okay, the number one thing I hate about this episode, I mean, this is actually probably my favorite episode out of all of them, out of the four, sorry, but I hate Cisco. Cisco right now is a big bag of shit. I hate him so much, because he's like, he reminds me of someone at school, at my school, actually, but I won't say their name, just in case they watch my channel, but I don't think they do, but, um, you know those people who, like, kind of hate you for no reason? Like, I mean, Cisco hates Flash because he kind of killed his brother, but not really. But they, they get every opportunity to make you look bad or make you feel bad or something like that. So, they showed, they finally showed the recording the, that was on the ship that uh, Firestorm found, both of them. And, uh, and you know, was, the message was about how Barry in the future said in the back, in said the message back saying, when they go back, the time... <coughs> Excuse me. The timeline will not be normal because of flashpoints, stuff like that. So uh, everyone's life is different. But I, I was going to say something. But yeah, so Cisco, he had he listened to it. And he's like, "Are you gonna tell them this? Are you gonna tell them this?" He's like, "Are you gonna tell them this?" And he's like, "Tell us what?" And then and they all turn around and flash out, tell everyone. And I just like, oh, Cisco, I swear to God, if he was gonna put the remote up and do. Uh, everything's going to be different. You know, if he did that, I swear to God, if I was Barry, I would have done this. <laughs> Pull out his spine, drop it on the ground. That's the end of Cisco. And that's what annoys me. Why is he there if he doesn't like them? That's what, it, that's what I find weird. Why is he there? But, anyway. And I hate that he... He hates him. And I understand that he lost his brother. So, but remember, Barry lost his dad... And his mum. And they're still dead, okay? Like, he did... He went to save them, and it was a different timeline. But I guess how I always saw that he... He did it to see what it was like. But then, when he came back, he obviously <clears throat> had the normal life. Fuck, I need a drink of water. Yeah, that's why I haven't been doing many videos, because I've been uh, sick and shit. So... Um, <laughs> so I'll just give it a water there. But, um... Yeah, so you can't check what it would be like, you know. And Oliver says that to Flash, saying, "Listen, man, if you, if if I had your powers, I would have done the exact same thing. I would have gone back and saved my mum. I would have gone back and saved my dad." Makes sense. I think anyone would, to be honest. So, you know, and I don't think I don't like how Cisco, Tony and Grutz, like. I feel like he's ang too angry at Barry. Like, you know, like, yes. He's evil. I, I mean, no, wait. yes, Barry. Yeah, he's evil, guys. No, yes, he did wrong. He understands that. He wasn't thinking. Like, he never thought, oh, I'm going to go back. He never thought that. But then he did, and, you know, and then he finds out, oh, shit, he fucked up time. He did all these bad things. But, um, yeah, and we find out, uh, here's another thing that we find out that, like, John Diggle, he finds out that he had a daughter, not a son, and then. Uh, you know, other people. I don't know what happened to other people. We don't really know, actually, what happened to those other people. Except for Firestorm. We found out that he has a daughter. And that was... Oh, that, that, and he's planning to get rid of her, I think. So, <clears throat> fix the timeline, but... Yeah, that's, uh... Shit. Um... Anyway, yeah, I, I mean, I, that that was... I don't know what you would do in that situation, to be honest. Erase the daughter, but then... Oh, fuck that. But then again, you would have to live with her not knowing anything. Like, he doesn't... He doesn't know her. That's the thing. And by the way, Flash didn't do this. He did it in the last episode saying... Oh, not to his last episode, like an episode before saying to him, Hey, man, you need to bloody stick with your girl. And then to his younger self, and then... He decided to have a baby, which, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that was pretty interesting. Anyway, in this episode, people get mind control. We find out they have this mind control thing. So Supergirl gets mind control, Firestorm, Adam, uh, Speedy, John Diggle, and it's Spartan, isn't it? John Diggle's character, Spartan. Tell me if that's right. I, I swear he said Spartan. Anyway, they get all controlled, and then, fuck, I hate blowing my nose, but, um, I was sucking up, I guess, but I'll blow my nose off camera. Um, uh, well, sorry, yeah, they all get control, and then Flash and Arrow are the only ones who have to kind of save them all. And uh, there was one bit, I mean, 
there was one bit in this episode where there was this mind control thing and I have to destroy it. So Flash is like bloody standing there because Supergirl is, he's like annoying Supergirl. Supergirl's like trying to charge right into him and Flash is like, he's like vibrating really fast and Supergirl goes straight through him and bloody destroys the thing. I was just like, whoa, you know, like I was just like, whoa, that was good, you know. That was a really bad word because I've got like a bloody sore throat. Right, so it sounds very echoey. Woo! Yeah, see, it, doesn't sound, it sounds like a girl. It sounds like a dog or a bird or I don't know. Woo! <sighs> Fuck, I can't do it. Woo! No, I can't do it. Fuck, that's annoying. <laughs> I've done that three times. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I promise when I come back, I'll, I'll have a better one. Woo! <sighs> anyway. Um, yeah, anyway, it was one of those really cool moments. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. It was one of those really cool moments. Um, then in the ep end of the episode, they Adam, John Deal, uh, Oliver, Speedy, and White Canary all get abducted, and they all go to space into a spaceship, and uh, that that's the that's the end of that episode. So the hour, and I'll probably jump back and forth. I might go back to the flash up and say, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this, you know. But um, hour they were in like this matrix type thing. There was, I didn't understand what it was though. Like, I didn't understand if it was their fear of of the characters or what life could have been like if this, if the future was different or if, or what they wanted to see. I didn't really understand what the, what they were doing or just keeping them occupied, you know, saying, oh, have a good night, have a good night, have a good life. But, um... Yeah, that it was a very emotional that episode. At the start, it was very slow, like, oh, God, he doesn't remember shit. And then later, you know, he starts remembering that his, uh, you know, he's like, oh, shit, I'm Arrow. And, you know, we're not supposed to be here and shit. And then they decide to leave. And the cool thing is, in this episode, they bring back all the original characters from Arrow, season one, two, three, and four, and five. And uh, so Damien Dark was there. Uh, Malcolm Merlin was there. Uh, Deathstroke was there, but Deathstroke, we're not sure, we, I don't think that was the actual actor, I think that was just some dude in a stunt suit, because he, he usually takes his mask off every time, he just had his helmet on all the time, so, I'm assuming, it wasn't him, they just got some stunt double to do it, which is kind of unfortunate, but, oh well, um, now let's do it a bike out there, <laughs> um, or oh, lawnmower, whatever that, Pretty sure that was a bike. Um, anyway, so yeah, that was cool, and then they escape, and then they come back, and yeah, it was very emotional because like he's just like, I love Speedy wanted to save, but then she knew, no, I have to go. But um, you know, Oliver was just like there, and he's just like, that's my mum, that's my daddy. He was like, oh man, I wish I could stay and shit like that, and you know they couldn't. But um, yeah, and by the way, each episode like. The name Flash Arrow Legends of Tomorrow, it really is about those those characters and shows. Like Flash is got the Flash characters, more of the Flash. Like Har Harrison Wells was in that one. He's I don't think he, he didn't even appear in Arrow in the other one. Cisco was in all of them, but fuck Cisco. And then you know Arrow was more about Arrow, and DC Legends of Tomorrow is about the Legends. So just be warned about that because I know some people would like just to stick to one show. Like I know some people. Like, just watch Flash and Legends, and they don't watch Arrow. They don't like it. And then some people just watch Arrow, and they think that's better. And then they don't like the other one. Some people just watch Supergirl. You know, so just be warned that each episode is about that type of character or characters. Um, uh, anyway, so yeah, that's Arrow. Legends of Tomorrow, this is the one where this dude, apparently, uh, like, they knew, the aliens knew about Flashpoint. That was the thing. And they knew that Barry screwed up time, so they have to go kill him. Apparently, they're kind of protectors of the world, which I didn't like. I thought, like, protectors of the universe. And, you know, I found that dumb. Like, why would they... Uh, I, I don't know. But, obviously, I'm not a comic book. I mean, I am a comic book, but I don't really know much about these species, these aliens or whatever. But, apparently, yeah, they um the masses are the evil ones, so they have to kill them all. And then... Yeah, so they have a fight in the end. Uh, they time travel back to when they first saw them. Fuck up time there. You know what? That reminds me of something. Back to Flash. You know when Barry finally tells everyone, oh yeah, I did all this, blah, 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 blah. And then 
White Canary is just like, I do every day. I try not to do wrong, okay? I know that I can't kill Damien Dark because I know it will screw up time. And then I thought, but all of season one you did that. All of season, the start of this season you've been screwing up time, along with the other people. So, give Bloody Barry some slack, okay? You know? He fixed his timeline, but there's a little bit of changes there, but you guys just completely fuck up time, you know? So, you know, I thought that was kind of dumb, but, uh, you know. Um, oh, it's just like, ch -ch 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 shut up. <laughs> um, anyway, back to Legends. Um, uh, so, yeah, the, uh, the one thing that's kind of bad about these shows like, when you put the humans, like, the real actors and stuff, next to, like, the bunch of aliens, it looks shit, okay? It looks terrible. Like, there was a bit, you know, the cool, you see it in the trailer, you know, the bit when they're all standing with each other, it's like, and then there's Vice over, and I'm a super girl. They're CGI as shit. Like, it's so obvious. But, I mean, I know it's TV stuff. And then the aliens, when they shoot the aliens and stuff, it was... Like, it looks... Sometimes when the aliens were hitting them and stuff, it looked like they weren't even getting hit. Like, it was like... It's just like, the alien could be like this. You know, like, do that. And then the durs person would... The, the, person, the person would just be like, Oh, now I got hit. You know, it, 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 it didn't look very right. But, I mean, it's a TV show. What do you expect? But, um, yeah, but that was cool. Uh, <laughs> But I found it, like, uh, the Aliens plan, I thought, like, why the hell, they'll probably come back, it'll be like Independence Day Resurgent, they'll come back, we have to repair for next time. But, um, then there's, uh, then there was a bomb that was, I didn't really get the bomb, was that just destroying metas or everyone? So, yeah. But anyway, they destroy that, and then... Uh, they all have a meeting, it's just like, yo, what's happening? Oh, and by the way, the Hall of Justice is in this show, is now here, it's there. So hopefully they'll refurnish all that and just call it the Hall of Justice, and that's where they put all their shit in there and all that. That would be cool, I hope they do that. But, uh, <laughs> they better, I'm telling you. Um, anyway, so that was cool. Um, yeah, I thought that was cool. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so, what else, what else, what else, it ends with all of them leaving, so the legends go back to time travel and stuff, and Supergirl goes, uh, back to her world, Cisco says that you're a hero, you're not my hero Flash, but you're a friend, and then that's what you're not, you didn't say that before, you dumb idiot, I just wish Barry just had a go at the guy, you know, saying, like, hey, man, Listen, I didn't want any of this shit to happen. And do you think I wanted your brother to die? I did not want him to die, okay? I lost my parents, and I went back. If you... And I want to see... Like, I did it, yes. And, of course, I came back because I knew I was making mistakes. And, yes, my parents are still dead. Your brother's dead. I've lost two people. You've lost one. So shut the fuck up. You know, that's what I would have said. You know, like, I don't like how Cisco doesn't, like... Yes, he lost a brother. Okay, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I would be upset if I lost my brother. Because, I mean, I love my brother, you know. And, but, you can't put all this shit onto Barry, you know. Barry bloody knows he did wrong. He knows he did wrong, okay. And he's trying to fix his mistakes. That's what he is doing, okay. And Cisco is giving him shit about it. And it is so annoying. I wish he just did the vibrate hand. <laughs> went straight through him. And bloody grabbed his spine and pulled it out. I wish he did that. But obviously he can't. <laughs> um, I just, uh, I don't like how he's there. He, if he doesn't want to be there, he should just leave. And, uh, yeah, I uh, just, it was, you know, like, I just wish someone said to Cisco, Barry has been through heaps, you know, he's gone, like, you can't keep giving him shit about this, okay, because he lost his parents, he's obviously guilty, he feels bad that he's done all this, it's really weird I'm sticking up for the Flash, because you know me, I kind of get really annoyed with him, but you know, it, it, <laughs> sorry, uh, but he's obviously, he knows he's done wrong, he, 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 he can't fix it. He's he explained that. Like, he could try, but it will do other terrible things. Like, if he saves 
his brother, it could possibly, uh, I don't know, maybe kill Cisco instead or something like that. It could kill Barry. I don't know. It could do something like that. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Overall, I, I, I think it was fine. I feel like some of the CGI and shit was pretty bad. I mean, I know it's a TV show, but, you know. I feel like if they do stuff like this again, I hope the next time they do it, they team up and they take on some other supervillain. Not an alien, but like... But that was the thing. We didn't really get who was the main supervillain of the episode. It was just a bunch of aliens. We didn't get really a main bad guy in this episode, you know? That's what was kind of annoying, because I would like to see a main bad guy. So maybe in the next one, they'll get a main bad guy. So they might get, I don't know, who could be... They could get the Legion of Doom versus the Legend, which apparently they're doing in, in Legends of Tomorrow, so that'll be cool. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, uh, I think that's pretty much it. I'm just making sure. Um, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will be giving a review on the mid-season Flash and Arrow and Legends uh, next week. I think they all finish, so I'll say what my opinion is so far about the shows. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.